Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Minasan and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. In our last class, we did giving and receiving, which is ageru and murau, receiving from seniors, which is kureru or you could say humble form. Now this week we are going to do direct and indirect, how direct speech and indirect speech is done in Japanese. We are also going to do a new verb form. So well, before this, I want you to listen to the kaiva, listen to it very carefully and see how much you can understand from there. Later on, I will do the explanation. Rao-san, Ronbon hapyo wa itsu desu ka? Asatte desu. Nanji kara? Kino sensei wa gozenjo to iimashita ga mada wakarimasen.時間ないから先生に聞いてください。そうそう。後で先生に聞いてみます。皆さん、明後日私の発表に来てください。あの、10時から11時まで数学のクラスがありますから、クラスの後行きます。発表に他の研究室の学生もいますか。はい、研究室
十時から十一時まで数学のクラスがあるからクラスの後行きます。So from ten till eleven I have a class class of mathematics あるから thus クラスの後行きます。発表に他の研究室の学生もいますか During 発表他の is other 研究室の学生もいますか They are also going to be there はい私の研究室から6人と and 隣の研究室から研究室 that is lab the lab next to mine 隣の研究室から from the next lab 2人が来ると言っていました They were saying that they are going to come じゃあ頑張らなければなりません Well then if others are coming you really have to be working very hard is what it means This is what we are going to do today and of course と言っていました This is in your script and you can see, I'm sure, recognize a few kanjis. Kino, nanji, gozenchu, ato, kite kudasai, kuru, ju ichiji. So, some kanjis I'll do with you right here. Nan, ji, nanji. Kino, kino, gozenchu, go, zen and chu, gozenchu, then ato, ato, later. Sensei, of course, you know, kiku, kiku over here, well. Right here, I will make like this nichi, and then what is this? This is nini. Then kuru is given over here. Kuru. So, I think lot of kanjis for you today. Practice these at home. Now, in your kaiva, you had this question word itsu. Now, itsu you have done earlier as well. Today, I am going to tell you the difference between itsu and naan. So, how to use itsu with, with tanjobi? Tanjobi wa itsu desu ka? So, tanjobi, itsu is when and it shows or here we are asking about date. Or maybe day as well sometimes. But then if you are doing sein and gappi, which is your date of birth, then we will not use itsu. This will not be used. What are we going to use? We are going to use nan. So seinen. Gappi wa nan des ka. Nan is what? You will not say senen gappi wa itsu des ka as I just told you. This is incorrect. So, this comes in exams and generally these options are given. You need to know what to click and how to use itsu. Now, in our kaiva, we have to imas. Now, particle to which is used here with imas is different from the to done earlier. The to which we have studied earlier means and as you already know and it joins nouns. It is an exhaustive listing of things present in front of you and by this I mean that you have to name each and every noun present over there. Now, the to that we are going to do with imas is a quotation marker and imas means to say or to speak. By this what do I mean? I mean that whatever is to be quoted or paraphrased 
is followed by particle to with the verb imas. Now you have also done another verb imas and imas which we are going to do today. They sound very similar. So let us see what is the difference. So the imas that we have done shows existence of a certain person whereas the imas that we are going to do over here says to say or to speak. So in Japanese it is imas existence presence of some person or we could say animate. Now over here it is e e mas. Do not confuse imas and imas. You can see it in the script as well now. Now this imas is used in direct and indirect quotation which we will do now. Now where do we use all of this the imas that we have to do as I just said in direct and indirect quotation. So direct quotation often appears in storytelling or essays where something is quoted or is said as is. It can also be used in conversations where it could be used as an indirect quotation and you will see how it is done. Now besides imas there are other verbs also which can be used in a similar manner and now the verbs are well kiku can be used, yobu can be used to call, kiku is to listen, hear. Then you can also use omoimas or omou which we will do later. Then styru means to convey and omo means to think. So of this we will do omoimas later. You can keep in mind that these are also used in a similar manner and there are some other verbs as well but we do not have to cover them here in this lesson. Now as you can see it is given over here kiku and omo there are others also. Now look at the example. Rao san wa ginko e ikimas to imashita. Now Rao san said direct because it is in quotation because whatever he said is being quoted over here thus to imashita he said who said Rao san Rao san wa comma. So you can put a comma over here and maybe it will be easy for you to understand Rao san wa. Initially what happens is this construction seems uh, very difficult to understand but as you get used to it where to put the subject, where to put the quotation and where to put imashita it becomes very very easy. So Rao san wa what did he say? Ginko e kimas. I will go to the ginko and he said. You will see more examples and it will become easy. So Rao san wa ohayo gozaimas to imashita. So ohayo gozaimas is what he said. Of course ohayo gozaimas has a rising intonation but here because it is being quoted by somebody so we could also use a flat intonation here. Rao san wa ohayo gozaimas to imashita or Rao san wa ohayo gozaimas to stae mashita. He said that please convey my good morning to whatever person Rao san wanted to convey it to somebody else is saying. For example, I am saying that Rao san wa ohayo gozaimas to imashita or Rao san wa ohayo gozaimas to stae mashita. He has conveyed his good morning to you or his best wishes to you. Now Nihonjin wa hito to wakareru toki sayonara to imasu. So Nihonjin wa Japanese people 
when they part from someone then what do they say sayonara to imas now there is no imashita over here imashita will become a specific time so imas is that is what they generally do they say sayonara when they part so that's how the sentence is going to be translated from this side to this side there is more for you now the important part here is that to imas or to i mashta will always have plain form how iku is plain form for ikimas ikanai negative plain is there the adjective will be as is you don't have to change anything in the adjective and then genki des changes to da plain form so tanaka san wa ashita picnic e iku to imashita tanaka san wa ashita picnic e ikanai to imashita tanaka san wa okasan no ryori wa oishi to imashita okasan wa genki da to imashita kodomo wa genki da to imashita so this is how you will use it in plain form before imas please remember this is the most important thing here in imas construction you have seen i'll give you more practice now so you can see rao wa ginko e ikimas to imashita rao said rao said i will go to the ginko or rao san said that i will go to the ginko to imashita he said then rao wa ginko e iku ikanai to itte imashita now what does this mean over here you have imashita then you did imas just now in your previous slide and now you have itte imashita so this is a general statement when you say to imas generally that's what is done nobody is saying anything this is a general statement then when you say to imashita somebody has said something and you are just quoting it putting it in inverted commas and saying exactly what he said repeating what he said now over here when you say rao san wa ginko e ikanai to itte imashita so this is how you have understood this is what you could gather from what he was saying that he was saying that he will not go to the ginko this is from your side this is how you have understood it this is how you are presenting it it is not in quotes anymore this is how you understood and you are saying that rao san wa ginko e ikanai to itte imashita you will see some more uh, examples here kogi wa goji ni owaru to itte imashita somebody it could be rao san it could be tanaka san it could be sensei it could be anybody was saying that kogi wa goji ni owaru it will finish at 5 o'clock so kogi is your lecture he was saying that kogi will finish at goji if it was in direct then sensei wa kogi wa goji ni owaru inverted commas closed to imashita now rao wa atsui to itte imashita he was saying that it is very hot what did rao say he must have said oh it's very hot today what do i do and this is what i understand from there and i say rao wa atsui to itte imashita he was saying that it is very hot to i mas 
I'm doing it again. To i mashita and to itte i mashita. Over here, it is in quotes. Here, whatever I have understood, and over here, it is a general statement. Now there is more practice for you. Rao san wa gohan wa oishi to imashita. He said that the gohan is tasty. Gohan is tasty, he said. Then Rao san wa kanji wa muzukashi to imashita. And if you want to put it in indirect, then Rao san wa kanji wa muzukashi to itte imashita. He was saying that kanji is very, very difficult. Now, Rao wa ohayo gozaimasu to imashita. Rao said ohayo gozaimasu, direct. Whatever he said is being quoted. Rao san wa gakusei da to itte imashita. He was saying that he is a student. So, this is simple direct and indirect. You can use whichever, mostly this one is used. It is more easy and convenient. Rao san wa picnic ni ikanai to imas. So he is saying that he will not go for the picnic. The action is not complete. It still has to happen. It is for the future. So to imas. Now you can also use Rao san wa ikitakunai to imas or Rao san wa ikitakunai to itte imashita. I have given both over here, you can see and you can understand now. Now there is a small conversation over here, there is this sensei Oisha san and this child is over here, his mother has taken him to the doctor and let us see what the conversation is. This conversation is between Haha and Mira. So, my mother comes home and she looks at me, finds me worried and she asks me doshimashita ka, what has happened? Doshimashita ka, kodomo wa chotto guai ga warui desu, meaning she or he is not feeling very well, guai is general condition ga warui desu. Why ga over here? Because he is not well and she can see it, warui is actually bad, but here not well, condition is not well. Netsu mo arimasu ka? Hai, kusuri wa mada desu, not yet, kusuri is medicine. Ja, byoin ni ikimashou. So she says, immediately let us go to the byoin. So shinryo no ato, that is you go inside, visit the doctor, he checks you up. And then after examination, when you come out, after consultation, when you come out, then what Haha says? Sensei wa nan to imashita ka? What did he say? Kaze desu to imashita. Kusuri mo morai mashita. I have received some medicine from him. So this is a very simple, normal daily conversation which you can have in this situation. Now, in our conversation, there was this particle gurai. It is used to show approximate quantity or amount or size of a certain thing. And gurai can also be written as kurai. Both mean exactly the same. There is no difference. So, well, to show amount or quantity or number, for example, hea ni, hea ni. 100人 gurai gakusei ga imasu. So, in the room there are 100 students present, approximately 100 students present. This shows number or you could also say for number of apples present in a box. So, the important thing here is that quantity or number should come before kurai or gurai as I just did over here hyakunin plus kurai gurai. So, hyakunin, hyaku is the number 
प्लस कुराई और गुराई और मिसेन एन कुराई और गुराई का कारी मास इट विल बी अबाउट टू थाउजेंड येन सो नंबर हैज टू कम फर्स्ट बिफोर दिस Now you can see from examples how quantity or amount or number is shown. So niha kuin in gurai party ni kimashta. Two hundred people came to the party. So exactly two hundred people. Then two hundred people came. But approximately two hundred people came. Then niha kuin in gurai party ni kimashta. Hako ni ringo wa dore gurai arimasu ka? Approximately how? Much. Dure gurai. So question word plus gurai. Approximate. Hako is box. Hako ni ringo wa dure gurai arimasu ka? How many ringo are there in the box? Now, hako ni ringo wa nan kiro gurai. You will not say dure kiro gurai. Nan kiro gurai. Please remember dure will be Incorrect over here. Nan is going to be used. So hakoni ringo wa nan kiro. Kiro is kilo. Gurai arimasu ka? Approximately how many kgs of apples are there in the box? Arimasu as we already have done in our uh, revision part in the first week. It is existence or presence of. Inanimate objects. Now, koko kara eki made, kuru made, juppun gurai des. What does this mean now? This is a sentence, statement, answer to something. So, what is the question? Please tell me the question. Yes, koko kara, koko kara eki made, nampun gurai, nampun gurai kakari mas. This is the question. Kuruma de can be added. Kuruma de. By kuruma, from A place to B place, how long is it going to take? How many minutes is it going to take? Kakari mas is take. What is the time taken? Now showing frequency. Mai nichi nan kai gurai kagami o mimasu ka? Kagami is mirror. So, mainichi nankai gurai. Approximately how many times do you look at the mirror? Which I am sure all of you do. So, you can understand this very well. You cannot count it. It could be so many number of times. So, approximately. Maishio nankai gurai. Restaurant de shokuji o shimasu ka? Shokuji is meals. Eating at the restaurant. So, approximately. Approximately. Nankai, how many times you eat food at the restaurant? So this shows frequency. Now this is a different usage of gurai, a little different from this construction. So no tokei wa ikura gurai desu ka? Ikura is how much? So approximately how much is the tokei for? So another question word is used over here, and you can answer. Nisen yen gurai des or sanzen yen gurai des, whatever answer you want to give. Now we just did this verb kakaru, and over here you can see very clearly a verb meaning time taken from place A to place B, or money required to travel from point A to point B. Now there is practice also for you. Deri kara kan purma de kuruma de. We just did this example earlier. In our previous slide, dono gurai ka karimasu ka, or dono kurai ka karimasu ka, kurai. So here it is kurai, and over here it is gurai. So we can also write gurai over here. Both can be used, and the plain form of the verb is ka ka ru, ka ka ru. Group one. Now deri kara kan purma de. Hikoki de, 
and we have also done particle they in detail so I am sure you will understand. Nanji kan gurai ka karimasu ka? So I am sure this is clear now. Kono shikoto wa sanji kan gurai ka karimasu? So there is some specific project, some specific work that you have to do and uh, you are saying kono shigoto wa sanji kan gurai, sanji kan gurai kakari mas. It's going to take 3 hours to complete this work. Sumimasen, eki made dono gurai kakari mas ka? So over here it could be time, it could be money both depending on the situation. Dono gurai kakari mas ka? How many minutes or how many hours and how much? money from place A to place B as we saw here. So I am sure Kakarimas is clear and we do not need any more examples. There is one more over here, sumimasen, tsugi no eki made dono gurai kakarimasu ka? So this clearly talks about money at the ticket window, tsugi, tsugi is next. Now this is a little different, look at the construction, kono densha wa benri kedo, it is benri but jikan ga kakarimasu. It is a good densha, it is convenient but it takes a lot of time. Also you will see this one, laptop wa benri kedo, it is very very benri, you can take it anywhere you want. but it is an expensive thing, okane ga kakari mas, that you have to pay a lot of money to buy a laptop. I am sure you will understand from this and how to use kakari mas and kedo. It is benri, it is very good but costs money. So takes time and takes money. So I am sure kakari mas is clear now and you can use it freely in your conversation. Now in our kaiwa we also had a phrase nakereba narimasen. Now what is that and what does it mean? So let us see nakereba narimasen basically means have to do or must do whatever the verb is saying. Whatever the verb may be group 1, group 2 you have to do as is being suggested or as is being said. It is an obligation, you have to do it. It is in negative, nakereba nari masen. Now let us see how it is made and what is the pattern of making nakereba nari masen in all the three verb groups. So now this is the construction. You can make it from mass form, you can make it from negative. You can also make it from plain form. Now how is it for group 1? So let us see, we take the negative for group 1. So we have yo ma nai, no ma nai, kaka nai, kika nai, okay. Negative for all these in group 1, hanasa nai or hanashimasen you can do the masen as well over here hanashimasen kakimasen kikimasen nomimasen and yomimasen so now how will you change it over here remove the nai from here as you can see from here as well Remove the nai and put nakereba nari ma sen. So this is for group 1 from nai. If you want to do it for group 1 from the plain form, then yomu, nomu, kaku, kiku, hanasu. Okay. Remove the u from here and put anakereba narimasen, anakereba narimasen. It is in negative but the meaning is 
positive meaning you have to do it you must do it over here yo ma na kereba no ma na kereba kaka na kereba kika na kereba and hanasa na kereba nari masen so you can make it whichever way you want from the negative or from the dictionary form for group 1 and group 2 now i'll do group 2 with you taberu neru varau shimeru just remove the ru from here this is group 1 ru from here and see nakereba nari masen it's given in the previous slide you can check it out the first verb is taberu so similar pattern for neru also ne nakereba nari masen and shime nakereba narimasen and for group 3 suru shi nakere reba nari ma sen please remember for suru it is shi nakere ba narimasen so all that you need to remember over here which is important is for group 1 if you are making it then it is ana kereba narimasen from dictionary form as is given over here and for group 2 very very simple na kereba narimasen just remove the ru now you have some sentences you can practice here so watashi wa mainichi rokuji ni kusuri wo noma na kereba narimasen I have to take medicine at 6 every day. Then, genki ni naritai kara, I want to become alright very, very quickly. So, kusuri wo noma na kereba narimasen. I have to do it. Have to, positive. Must do it. Tanaka san, hayaku genki ni naritai nara, kusuri wo noma na kereba nari. So, if you really want to become well again very quickly, then please have your medicine. It's a suggestion. So, kodomo wa horenso ga kirai. Do not like horenso, but tabe na kereba narimasen. Then, mainichi undo wo shi na kereba narimasen. So, you have to do exercise every day. Mainichi undo wo shi na kereba. To keep in good health. Shina kereba nari masen. Sensei no koto chanto kika na kereba nari masen. So this you should all remember very much, and I'm sure you will understand it now. Sensei no koto chanto kika na kereba nari masen. So please listen to what your teacher is saying. Chanto is properly. Pay attention to what your teacher is saying. Kika na kereba nari masen. The verb is. Kiku, kiku, suru, and taberu. There is more practice. Shigoto shitaku nai kedo. I don't want to work. But shinakereba nari masen. I have to work. Then ashita shiken ga aru no de. Ima benkyo shinakereba nari masen. So I put it in. Plain form also, it is the same, only level of politeness is different. Nakereba narimasen sounds more polite than nara nai. Node is similar to kara, we have done it earlier, and before node, verb will always be in plain form. I have done all of this with you earlier, so I am not repeating it again. Now, this is almost similar to this one. Ashita shiken ga aru no de ima benkyo shita ho ga i desu. So, it is a suggestion. This is also a suggestion, an obligation on you that if somebody is suggesting, you better do it. It's for your own good. Now, we are going to do some kanjis. You 
can see these are simple kanjis, you know the words, we will quickly do the kanjis and you will memorize them like this faster. So, kurma 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This is how kurma is made once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Kurma. Kurma. Another reading for kurma is sha. So, you will see just now then sha. So, then is electricity and sha then sha. Something that moves with the help of electricity and sha actually the meaning is wheel. Okay, so, all these move on wheels. I am doing it very, very quickly because we have done it earlier as well. So, I am just repeating these kanjis for you. You know the words. So, you can also remember the kanji now. Now, you have hito over here. Hito kanji is very, very simple 1 and 2. So, what are the new words with hito? You have done hitori, hitori, one person as is standing over here. Then you have gaijin, another reading is jin. So, gai and jin, gaijin, gai koku, jin. The koku is missing over here, so simple. Gai Jin, a foreigner. Then we have Jinko, Jin and Ko. So many people and so many mouths to feed. So then this becomes population, Jinko, Jin and Ko. Then there is another word, Ningen, Nin, San Nin. San Nin Nin. So, same Nin over here and this is Gen. Ningen. This is a special reading Nin Gen. Then Jinsei. Jin Sei. Jin Sei is life itself. This is Hito and this meaning is to live. So, Jin Sei. Your life. So, so many new words with this uh, character, try to use them in your conversation and in sentences. You have some more. So, today we have body parts, nimi, which is very, very simple, looks complicated, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, nimi. Then we have kuchi, kuchi like this three stroke character, kuchi. Now, what are the new words with kuchi? Hito kuchi. One and kuchi. One mouth full. We just did jinko also over here. Jinko, which is population. And another word that you have done with kuchi is iriguchi. Iriguchi. Though the character for iri is different from hito, it is like this 1 and 2, whereas hito is 1 full over here and then 2. This is hito and this is iri. So, iriguchi over here. Then we have me like michi, like Michi. So, you put two lines over here and it becomes me and me ue. What is me ue? This is ue which means up and me ue somebody who is senior to you in rank and in age is me ue no kata. Me ue no hito kata. Then we have ashi. Ashi is like this like this. This kanji is almost hito, you can see. So, ashi, ni soku. Soku is the counter for socks, soku. So, ni soku is two pair of socks. Then you have te, it is like this, one, two, three and four te, 
and you have done this word tebukuro. Bukuro was a little difficult, so I did not put it over here. But tebukuro is gloves, something that you cover your hands with. Bukuro is fukuro, fukuro is a bag. Now, te ashi, so limbs actually, te and ashi, te and ashi means limbs. So, these are some kanji characters for you, some new words for you. You can learn these, these are simple characters, you can join these and make some new words. Some I have written, some you can look up the dictionary and make using these kanjis which I have given today. So now with this I would like to end today's class. There are a lot of things we have done, some things you had done earlier, some we did just now like nakereba narimasen. It is a very good verb form which you can uh, learn and use in your conversation. Of course, we are going to do nakereba narimasen again later in a different manner but for the time being do it the way I have told you. Do the kanjis that we have done in class today and try to make new characters from there. Practice imas and itte imashita and imashita with particle to as direct and indirect speech. It is very handy and useful. So with this I will end today's class and we will meet again soon in our next class. Till then, arigato gozaimashita. また会いましょう。